Evening boys, this is Yami Blood and this is our legacy. Alright guys, first and foremost, welcome to the stream. Today's let's build is going to be a sub terra build. It's going to be quite fun. I mean, I have actually built a trial version as always. And of course, together we're going to go into ranked, test out the build, see how it does on, on the ladder. And I believe that um, ranked has now been reset, so we've all been demoted. So I should now be on platinum. Now I haven't really been on um, Dawn Links much for the past few days. You guys read my post, I believe, yesterday or the day before. Um, it's been quite tough at the moment for the past few days. Uh, suffering from a few health issues and personal problems. So um, I've not been able to keep uh, consistent with my Let's Build streams. I've managed to gather the strength to do tonight's stream. So hopefully it will be a really fun session. And after the, today we should be uh, back on track with the Let's Build streams. Anyways guys, um, we're going to start off with some auto duels. I may be a bit behind with duel links in terms of what's... In terms of, uh, what's actually going on at the moment but yeah we'll do a couple auto duels until you guys turn up and of course do the meets and greets and hopefully we'll have a great stream G Bone how you doing man reactive tree evening to you so yeah um I'm going to show you guys the deck list in just a sec. It's t only today, actually, that I um, unlocked... What's that guy's name? From Zexel Shark. So, um, trying to grind for gems as well in the meantime. But yeah, let me know how your Duel Links... Um, how Duel Links is doing for you guys, you know? Tio, hola, Mark, Asian, thanks man, thanks for the kind words there, Rizmu, yeah, what's popping man, Mark, Asian, you should make one for Noble Arms, yes, yes, I do have that planned, I've actually got all the support for Noble Knights too, so, um, yeah, yeah, for sure, we'll do something with that. Raymond, thanks for the prayers, man. Santiago, you got a notification and you're not even subscribed. Well, that's all the more reason to go and hit that subscribe button. So yeah, Subterrors. How many of you guys are actually fans of Subterrors? Because they have some real crazy, crazy potential. And um, I, it, we should be able to get to Legend with the deck. Now, I do have two variants of sub terrors, And depending on what people are playing down in rank, uh, Platinum Rank, we'll see what we need to add or remove, etc. But yeah, these auto duels, I just use a standard Blue Eyes deck. I don't really have time to be messing about with, uh, with other decks. But yeah, for some reason, Sharks dropped me most of the cards. Like the... Um, the XEs, he's dropped me that. But there's one of the effect monsters, the... The Stickers guy. Shark Stickers. He doesn't seem to want to drop me that. Reactive Tree. Thank you for that, man. Renga, how you doing, man? Yeah, now this sub terra build I'm gonna show you guys. It's uh, I think it's pretty consistent. But there's a fair few things like let, let me just show you. Let me show you. I think I've also got a replay to show you boys too. 
Right. You know what? Let's just jump into the deck list. So we are going to be using Paradox. We're going to be using Paradox purely because of the skill. And I'll explain that in just a sec. Alright, here's the build. Now, Alistair and Invocation, it's, it's not necessary at all. I just put that in to see how it works. We don't even need to run Alistair. But if you do have Alistair, then this is probably the, the cheaper of the Alistair builds. So like double Alistair and one Invocation. But it's not, it's not necessary at all. And you'll see why. Now, Labyrinth Builder is the skill we're using. And that is because we can return two, two cards from our hand. And special summon a Labyrinth Wall from outside the deck. The reason why that is good is for two reasons. Now, one is um, Stygo. So Stry Stygo Kraken. He just needs one tribute. So we can activate the Labyrinth Builder summon the um the wall and then tribute just one tribute so tri tribute the wall and we can set this guy here that's one way of using the skill the second way is this guy here nemesis warrior so with nemesis nemesis warrior as long as you have another monster on your side of the field you can tribute it and that monster send one of these boys so stygo or umastrix send those to the uh, from the deck to the grave and then we get to special summon either one of these. So Labyrinth Builder basically adds an extra monster to combo with Nemesis Nemesis Warrior. Now, with Subterrors, it's all about their flip effects. Stygo is all about destroying set cards. The Masterix is all about banishing opponent's monsters. And the way we can flip them over, Subterra Final Battle and World Legacy Pawns. So now World Legacy Pawns was a was a nice little addition uh, from Konami's side of things because we can literally target the monster that is set on our side of the field, flip it over, pop the effects, and bam. And the best thing about this is that we get to control when to flip our opponent's monsters. Of course, things like um, Shiranui, Dark Magician, so on and so forth, if we can sh uh, shut them down uh, early on, then we could win the duel. That's another reason why I'm running the flip flop frog. Because with the frog, it doesn't target. That's number one. Second thing is, we can flip it over via legacy pawn. So we can keep popping frog's effect off. Um, yeah, and like I mentioned before, invocation, not needed. We are going to test this out and then maybe even um, replace them with another variant. But um, I did have some good good duels well there was only a couple of duels that i had but um i believe i saved the replay let's just have a quick look uh what's today november 2nd yeah i think this might be one of them bolts what's that man just a shout out to your dm f2p it helped with my climb to KOG last season keep believing in the heart for sure man for sure I'm glad that you were able to climb man and the heart of the cards they do not fail if we believe in them all right so here's the here's the replay so we've got double final battle this guy's I think running Shiranui I mean with that filth triple set back row and a set monster it's got to be but look at the RNG system giving us triple final battle but yeah, Alistair is like an added bonus to the deck, not needed at all. I just want to see how Alistair works in the deck. So he floodgated straight off. Alright. The only reason why I'm going for the Alistair in the deck is because of Flip Flop Frog and Cockatus. Because Frog is a water, we can summon Cockatus for more defense. So it was a Shiranui. We activate Legacy Pawns and shift that Floodgated monster into face-up attack. Then we activate Alistair, boost it up to 4,000. This guy doesn't know what hit him. So that's Legacy Pawns for you guys, you know. We can overcome Floodgate. Alright, we summon Nemesis, activate its effect as a chain. Tribute, summon him Asterix. Now with Shiranui, they work by banishing their monsters, so it can get tricky in that sense. 
because Imo Umastrix banishes. But yeah, the final battle. Bulk this bad boy to 4700 attack and straight to the face. Game over. Uh, use Xyz. I mean, okay. I mean, we could do that. Oh, wait a minute. I think I've got an extra deck already. Okay, we've got a few slots here. We don't need double Kaliga at all. Nor do we need double of this. Uh, Alright, what Xyz would help us? Now, we've got, what, four-starred? Let's just search through the filter. Monsters, Xyz. Let's go through all the Xyz here that I've got. Right. Leviathan Dragon, do we have any level threes? We don't. Two level four fairies, we're not running fairies. Archduke, cool, we'll just put it in. Uh, Zubaba, two level four monsters, cool. What's this? Stellar Knight, three level four monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, then target one card on the field. Okay, that could be good. What's this? Three level three, we don't need. Three level four monsters. I don't think it's needed. Two level threes, two level six. And three level four monsters. What does this guy do? This card is special summon. Negate the effects of all other face-up Xyz monsters currently on the field. You can target one other face-up Xyz monster on the field. Until the end phase, this card's name... Oh, That's not too bad. Oop. I was not supposed to get rid of Cockatus. Uh, let's put this in and put Cockatus back in the deck. Oh yeah, do you guys know how to run subterrors? Are you guys fans of the subterror? I do also have um, a guide on how to use uh, subterrors. Right, what are we searching? Invoked. Oh, the, the XC's filter is still on, right? Yeah. Alright, this is the build for now. Let's take it into ranked, see what we can do. Santiago, we could have in Duel Link Subterra Guru. True. That's very true. But I think Sub. Yeah, look. Okay, it's what? Three wins in a row, yeah. Alright, boys. We had three wins in a row. Uh. Alright, against Blue Eyes. This filth here. And then the one I showed you guys, the Shirinui. So it seems we had three wins in a row already. There's no reason why this is not legend strong. And maybe even further. So yeah. I'll go through the combos live in the duels. This seems like okay, okay. Winner will gain a rank. Good thing about platinum is that we don't de rank, so the floor is ours. Alright, Nemesis Warrior, Flip Flop, Alistar, Stygo. Guys running the Shiranui, which means a heavy back row. I must say, I did miss the Let's Build streams and, of course, playing Duel Links. Alright, what's this guy doing? St what? Guys lost it early on in the duel. Uh, oh, we can get Cockatiss out. Hmm. How to go about this? Um... Shall I just summon the Alistair, search for invocation, go into a Cockatiss, or nah? Summon the Nemesis, also summon the... to activate this skill. Yeah, let's do that. We'll summon Nemesis, activate this skill to send back two cards, so we'll send back... Legacy Pawns, I think we need that. Stygo, yeah, we need that. So we send back Alistair, do we need Flip Flop? Or maybe send the flip. Alright. 
The reason for why I summoned Nemesis is so that we can go into a Stygo Kraken and get rid of that back row. It's been quite some time that I've um, played Subterra. Wait, why didn't I attack his uh, synchro uh, tuna? Yeah, well. It's cool, it's cool. It's the first duel. Like. Alright. Question is, do I want to banish what he summons now? Sun Saga. Do I want to banish this now? This card is special summon. You can return any number of zombies. Okay. Banished. Then destroy. Okay. I think we're going to banish this guy. The good thing is... Um, Nemesis Warrior. Its effect can be activated. Like nearly in every phase. It's pretty nuts. When he is banished, what does he do? I'm just gonna do it, man. Alright. Legacy pawns. This is how it works. We get to choose whether to put it in face up attack or defense. I'm hoping he can he would uh, end his turn. And then of course when a sub terror monster is flipped face up, Nemesis can be sub a special summoned from the grave. We kind of need final battle. Come on, bro. End your turn. You don't have plays, man. Don't be silly. You don't have no plays. And you don't have back row. It, pff, exactly, my bro. Exactly. Exactly that. That's exactly it. Alright, let's banish this piece of crap. This card is in the graveyard except the turn. Okay, you can target one on you. Okay. And if you dispatch a summon from your deck. Okay. So we can get rid of that nonsense. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Summon the Alistair. I wonder if he's running Karibo, like, why doesn't he have a defense? He's got... Oh, oh... Okay, okay. Okay. That would be four wins now. Rank to Platinum 2. What's this? Visionary. Yeah, four wins in a row so far. But yeah, um, I would say sub terrors, they're not easy to play with. I mean, you've got to know the combos. You must focus on the combos and how to play it. Even I misplay too. But um, just remember, Umastrix is the one that banishes monsters, and Stygo is the one that banishes set cards, even set monsters. All right, I think we do the flip flop, or we do the Nem. Do the flip. Hmm. Or we go into. We do the flip. Maybe. And what you may find is that there's too many plays with the deck. Okay, Ritual Beast. Mm -hmm. But Ritual Beast don't really have a way- well, ah, damn it. He's gonna negate Flip Flop Frog's effect. I guess Nemesis Warrior would have been the better one to go for. Nemesis and, uh, the skill. Labyrinth Wall. Ah, man. We had Final Battle too. 
I hope we don't get OTK'd. As long as we don't get OTK'd, we still have players. What do you guys think? Does he have the OTK set up or not? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Destroy in the back row. Pussy is. Okay. I think he gets the OTK, man. I hope he doesn't get that OTK, man. This one negates monster effects, right? No, it doesn't. Alright, it seems like he hasn't got many plays. We send this piece of crap to the extra deck. He'll probably chain. Alright, that back row is dangerous. I wonder if it's a cosmic cyclone. It's always a possibility. Mm -hmm. I think we must go for the for the um, for this play here. So send back the flip, send back the Alistair. Special summon the wall, summon the Nemesis. Set that back row. We can chain if he tries to activate something like a floodgate, Canadia, anything really. Floodgate. Activate Nemesis effect. Uh, I think we want a master. Do we want a Maastrix with that heavy back row? Or Stygo? I think we go for a Maastrix. Alright, tribute the wall. Alright, set the battle. It's Cosmic Cyclone, man. It is Cosmic Cyclone. It's got to be. Okay. I want to banish this dolphin piece of crap. Is it target one card regardless of face up or face down? Once per turn, you can banish one ritual beast card from your hand, then target one card, you can return it to the hand. Ah, oh, man. That kind of sucks. It sucks because, um, I didn't want to use it yet. And this boy here, what's his name? Petal Finn. He's the problem for a uh, Maastrix right now. Yes. As long as he doesn't have Cosmic Cyclone. Boys, um, that fusion card, that Ritual Beast fusion card. Apelio, I think it was. It's a 2600 attack, right? Go for it. Ah, but you know what I could have done? This will work. I could have activated the effect. Ritual Beast. I believe it's 2600, his, uh... Electric 
Retro Android. I am playing the water invoked cockatiss. I have it in the deck. I think we have to let him do his thing. Because Ritual Beast, the, their boss monster is a 2600, I think. So what else can he do to get over Umastrix? He will be able to destroy Emesis. V Rain Reborn Invoked is unpure. Yeah, everything, every deck runs Invoked these days. I'm running it to see what is the most optimized way. Oh, say 100. Ah, oh, it's because of the lion. Why didn't he go for Umastrix? Well, that's weird. Mm, okay, we do have Alistair. Let's activate the effect and banish. I guess we banish the fusion. He's gonna chain it, perhaps? I wonder if we can get OTK now. No, because he's gonna swarm. Damn Winda. Danging Winda. Uh, we're gonna go into a sink. Uh, a fusion. Hold up. We can go into an Xyz. Is there any 4 star Xyz in the deck that could help? Hold up. Zubaba. Nah. Not worth it. Alright, we could just go into A. We got... Flipping the... Okay. We have the frog in the grave, so we can bring out Cockatus now. Question is, do I want to do that? Probably. Most likely. Cockatus or... Hmm... Yeah, forget it. We go for. Mm. Well, I can't put Cockatus in attack, can I? Forget it. We go for my girl. Get more damage in, I think. Alright, guys. We got a pretty nice board set up. It could still go anyway, as long as he doesn't final battle. But you know what? He's going to bring back the dolphin, isn't he? So I wonder if I should even attack so that he clogs his monster zone. But then again, 4,000, that's what, 2,500. Uh, let's just attack. Alright, so. Uh, let's destroy Winder first, because, well, she can still special summon, isn't it? I mean, it's... Damn it. He's just got a, a stalling swarm. I've got an idea though. I do have an idea. Let's see if it works. Uh, What's he doing? 2300. Well then. Okay. Damn time, man. Dang this time. Usual problems with this damn clock. Ah, oh, dolphin. Oh, snaps. Ah, oh, man, I don't even have time to do this. 
He's just going to use Petal Fin for the back row. Go for it, mate. A girl? Or back row? Back row. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, shoot. Change one. Ah, six seconds. Come on, come on, switch it. Switch your Maastricht. Come on. Get on with it. Alright. There we go. Ooh, boys. Time. Clock is really getting us here. Let's hope we don't lose the time. And because I've got the toggle off, I can't activate Nemesis' um, effect. I think we just let him destroy Nemesis. We'll bring him back anyway once we flip over Umastrix. Oh my god, he's got the second one. He's got the second one. I got the Apulio. I think I'm gonna... Forget it. Let him do it. Let him do it. Let him destroy it. It's too risky. Way too risky. Too risky with the time. Just way too risky. That back row. Could be anything, really. Alright, set the final battle. Set. Summon the Alistair. Uh, normal, okay. He's just gonna split his uh, monsters. Come on, come on, come on. Don't waste my time. Guys, I think I'm gonna um, time out, you know. This is not looking great. This is not looking great. This is not looking great. Come on, come on, come on. Let me activate. Let me activate. Come on, come on. They're in bleeding seconds now. Oh, man. We'll go into the battle phase straight away. Let's not mess about. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Come on, man. If it's a water disruption, then idea. All right, go for it. Go for it, mate. Guys, I'm gonna have to off this now. Ah, four seconds. <laughs> no. He's closer to Deku now. Him, right? Yeah. We need um world legacy pawns. This guy's going for back row again. Hmm. Is he going to uh, bring back the the petal? Well, he can't target cockatus, which is good. Getting a bit irritating with this stalling crap. Hmm. That's 2800, 
Uh, dang it. I'm going to have to end my turn so that we can gain some seconds back. Cosmic Cyclone. Alright, let him end his turn and we shift this back up. Alright. Flip flop. Come on, man. What's the matter with you? What? Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Boys, I'm confused here. Let's go for the attack. What should I do? Dang it. I don't think this through here. <sighs> the pressures of the clock. Alright, we're gonna bring out the Maastrix now. On a bow. I kinda wanna get the OTK, so. I think we've got the OTK now. Oh, nah. I don't wanna attack into his Canadian so that he can't do anything dangerous. We just need this last. This, this turn is the one. What kind of a what? Are you serious? Kind of garbage. What? This guy's nuts. This guy is actually nuts. What? What is this guy? Wow, I think we got the win, boys. Who the hell runs Psychokinesis? Oh, wait, did I not use Alistair? Well then. Well then. That's gameage. That will be game. Goodbye, my bro. Alright, boys. Five wins in a row here. Yeah, the reason why I have the toggle off is so that um, the prompts don't waste even more time. It had to be off. But yeah, we got the win, man. Let's check this guy's deck. Psychokinesis. Like, what? Oh, what the hell is this? Windows Psychic and this guy's Psychic. Interesting. So that's five wins in a row. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Doing all right. All right, I think we're warmed up. We is warmed up and ready for some action. <laughs> what is this guy running, Dark Magician? Alright. Mm -hmm. You see, I always like to... Oh, maybe I should set the frog. I always like to... Labyrinth and Neos. Uh, not Neos, what am I talking about? N uh, Nemesis. I always like this combo. I bet you any money he's got Cosmic Cyclone. He's that kind of guy that has it. Opening hand, he's got the Cyclone. I set a 
Whoa, okay. Better for us. Let's get rid of that setback right there. So is the bleeding back row. Flip it over, destroy it. at least one for now. Base of attack, yes. Right. Yes, we go for the middle, I think. Yes. Alright. What the hell is that? Chain disappearance. Interesting. Alright, this could be deadly for this boy. So I wonder what that back row is. I wonder if it's uh, cosmic. It's gonna be interesting. Um. Okay. I've got an idea. But let's just go. I think we got the win if he uh, goes for the monsters and not the the trap. Go for the monsters, boy. Go for the monsters. Come on. Ah, uh, you. Okay. I think we still win because we can bulk up. Um, Stygo. Ah, yeah, this is the win. Unless he's got Karibo. Oh, yeah, this should be uh, 4,000. Yep. That's it. Goodbye, my bro. Goodbye, my bro. Nice. Guys, six, six wins, man. Six wins already. We're actually breezing through ranked. I'm pretty sure this is legend strong. Look at that. Look at that. Does that not look beautiful? One, two, three, four, five, six wins in a row. This guy's at platinum four. Whoa! Triple fiendish. Double ballista. Double flood. Double chain. Triple Alistair, double invocation, double perg. Someone's invested heavily into the traps and invocation, it seems. So, so far, this deck seems to be really good. Rank up material. Dang, look at that map. Alright. Should we go for standard play? We got the legacy pawns right there. Seems like it might be a light swan. Um, I think we should drop two cards and summon Nemesis. Alright, what we could drop is the frog and Stygo. Because Stygo we can just easily bring back from the grave via Nemesis. We have the Legacy Pawns. Let's hope he doesn't have Cosmic. His first summon will explain what he's running. Flip flop. Oh wait, 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 wait. I didn't want him to activate flip flop. Oh my god. Ah oh, man, I wanted to do it um, before Frog activated the effect. That sucks. Ah, 
Don't have a dangerous back row. Alright. Flip over Umastrix. And then we banish Umastrix. Target one face down monster you control. Yes. So we'll banish Umastrix. So that if he does have a final battle, he won't be able to banish anything. Yes. So we get rid of this. He's still got the frog, but next turn we can easily... Um, we can easily um, banish the frog too. And since the frog is not a sub terror, we're not worried about final battle. He could also be running pawns. I guess we're going to find out now. Interesting. I feel like he's got pawns. I don't see what else it could be. So boys, when Stygo activates its effect on set cards, can they activate it in response? He does have pawns. What a noob. What a noob. The frog doesn't target, right? <gasps> what does frog do? Once percent you've completed okay, you when this card is split face up, you can return monsters your opponent controls to the owner's hand after the number of face up frogs. But it doesn't target. I can't do anything. I'm just gonna have to let it go through. Gonna send the Maastrix. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Attack the frog. Or we'll summon the stags. I think I'm gonna tribute the nemesis. Swift, that's a floodgate. Bro. That's not a floodgate. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this guy couldn't hack it. What? What just happened? Boys, 7 out of 10. What was it, 7 out of 10? It's 8 out of 10, but 7 wins in a row. Look at that, man. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's check out his build. What's he running? What is this? Swarm of Locust. Triple um, Maastrix. Triple of this. Double of that. Triple of this. Sis. Okay. He was running Cosmic Cyclone. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah guys, so far this is the build for rank up. It should 100% okay look, platinum 3 now? Alright, uh, double nemesis, one final battle, one Alex. Bujins, could be dangerous. Yeah, chain disappearance there, G Bone. It's a situational card. It's good when it works, but a brick when it doesn't. My monster 
Cure's effect activates. Curious to know how this is gonna pan out. Sinew. During either player's damage step, if a beast type warrior Bujin monster you control battles and opponents monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Yeah. But the Umastrix. I think we'll drop one Nemesis and drop one Umastrix. Do we need Invocation? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, Labyrinth. We'll send back one Umastrix and one Nemesis. Special summon the wall, summon the nemesis. Now, question is, shall I trigger nemesis effect now? Or shall we wait? I think it would be wise to wait. We do have final battle, so if anything we can go into a Stygo and get rid of that back row. Or we can go for Umastrix and... Banish this Yamato. The other good thing is we could also bulk up Nemesis' attack. During the play when a card effect is activated, that targets a Bujin monster you control, except during damage, so you can banish this card from your graveyard and negate that effect. Okay, he's going in for the Synchro, the Xyz. Then that will put Bujingi and the Turtle in the grave there. Oh, please don't go for final bow. Please don't go for final bow. Please don't go for final bow. Please do not go for final bow. Come on, come on. I've got faith in you. Do not go for final bow. Probably some monster. You can banish this card from the graveyard and target one spell trap card your opponent controls. It's like, why wouldn't he go for back row, you know? I guess we just bulk up Nemesis. Ooh, what's that? Target one of your boon in. Okay, send that card. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Does he have plays? How that burns. Let's battle. What's he trying to battle? Go. My oh, he's got that filth in the hand, right? Bit of a pickle here. Do not have any sub terrors. What would I even summon right now? I think go for a girl. Use the Alistair. I guess use the wall. I don't think I'm going to activate um, Alistair's effect. To boost. McGill. What does he have in the grave? Uh, turtle and centipede. I wonder if he's got some filth in the hand though. That's the other confusing part
my monster's effect activates. That's my second final battle that this boy has just destroyed. Here comes one of my favorites. I summon a monster in attack position. I throw down a face down. All right. My monster's effect activates. Quillen, if you control a beast warrior type Bujin monster, you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target my face up card your opponent controls, destroy that target. I don't think we can win this. I really don't think so. Enemy controller. Check out my face down card. I activate a quick play spell. I oh, end yeah. my turn. Enemy controller. I draw. From my hand, I activate a continuous spell. During your main phase, you can normal summon one beast type warrior monster in addition to your normal summon. Okay. That just gains a hundred. That's fine. What does this boy do? My monster's effect activates. <laughs> All right. Well, he wins. We'll take that right to the chin. That's cool. So seven wins, one loss. That's a seven of eight. For anyone who just joined the stream, I'm just going to show you boys the deck list. So this is... um. The sub terror build we're running at the moment. So far, so good. This is the first loss in like eight duels. So we've won seven, just lost the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. Yeah. Abijins, they're, they're a cool strategy, you know? They're a pretty cool strategy. Alright, we've got the Alistar, we've got the Stygo, we've got the Nemesis, we've got the Umastrix. I think we go for the skill, summon the Nemesis, and end our turn. Well, we'll probably attack into his face there. Alright, come on. Alright, flip flop. Flip flop. Right, activate this skill, we'll send back I think the Stygs and the Umastrix. All right, summon the nemesis. All right, floodgate. Oh, I mean, he wants me to attack his face down. Should we just do it? I guess we just do it. No way it could be wall of this. Ooh, desk boss. Ooh, it's been a while. I wonder if I should also make a desk bot let's build series. This desk bot were pretty OP quite some time ago. I think I actually hit King of Games once with the desk bot the build that I made. It was um, featuring Jinzo. I just banished that. 
Well, I can't yet. Alex, yes, I am missing a Purgatario. But yeah, for sure, if you've got it, definitely put that in the deck. Trying to do. This guy bolsters his attack, right? I think we summon a Maastricht. So when he attacks into Maastrix, we just banish it. My monster's effect activates. You can target one despot monster against 500 attack and defense for each despot card you could draw. This is probably the best we can do right now. This is the MVP of desk bots. So I think we'll banish it. Check out my face Chalice. I activate a quick play spell. My monster's effect activates. Now what? You fool. I activate my monster. Uh, it still triggered the effect. Oh well, it's gonna negate, isn't it? That's okay, we got flip-flop. We, we need a pawns. Yeah, no, we need a... Yeah, okay. Not the stakes. Definitely not the stakes. Alright, what does this desk bot do again? This card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation. You can activate this effect once per, per battle. The opponent takes no battle damage for the rest of this turn. Also, send one desk bot monster from your deck to the graveyard, except 004. And if you do this card gains attack and defense equal to the sent monster's level times 500. Level times 500, so 5, 10, 15. 1500 on top of that is what, 2000? Now which X's can we go for? Zubaba. Question is, shall we go for the... Um, Boys, bit of a pickle here. Um, I think we go for Miguel again. From my hand, I, activate a spell. I think we go for Miguel again and bulk it up. So that we can get rid of this desk bot. Miguel will be at like what, 4,000? Right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's go boys, let's go. Let's go right there. Right to the face. It's been a while since um, I've seen Deskbot, so Kind of forgotten their uh, the strategy. You gotta do better than that. My monster's effect activates. Sweet, just what I was waiting for. My monster's effect activates. Well guys, another one to the chin, I think. Why are we going up against uh, all of these strategies? 
2,000. Okay. 2,300. Alright. We just about make it. Oh. I guess that's OTK. That's cool, man. That's cool. I actually give this guy uh, some credit for, for playing desk bots. Something different. Let's have a look at the build. Hmm, what is this? Machine duplication, okay. That's cool, that's a nice deck. So, so far this is the build. But what I'm thinking is, if you guys don't want to run Alistair and Invoked, you could actually put through some uh, back row removal, so like Cosmic Cyclone, um, Galaxy Cyclone, all of that stuff. I think we go for the Alistair player, or, mm, yeah, let's go for Alistair. Should we... Hmm. Alright, Miguel. It's a shame we don't have Nemesis Warrior or... Um, Final Battle. But yeah, you can tech in any three cards if you remove the Invoked Engine. You take in whatever three cards you want. Back row remo removal is probably the best thing to go for. Shiranui. I, mean, I wouldn't be su uh, surprised to see Shiranui right now. How's everyone's uh, climb going? Are you guys playing in rank to climb at the moment or are you going to wait a week or so? Cuz usually in the beginning of a of the of the new season, everyone's ranking so there's like craziness going on. All right. Uh That's definitely a ballista regeki or karma. I think we just go for it for the attack. Maybe set Alistair. <laughs> Trouble is we don't have uh, Nemesis. Wonder why he set the Solitaire. We need that Nemesis. If we don't get pulverized now. I activate my monster's effect. I'm counting on you. I special summon a monster. I set a card. I end my turn. Here we go. It's my turn. I draw. Does this guy know how to use flipping uh Shirinui or he doesn't? Floodgate. Ballist. Come on, get a move on. If you're running Shirinui, I expect you to get popping with the combos already. This guy's just, I don't know what he's doing. Come on, man. We're not here to mess about. 
Leave Alistair set. Nah. Uh. Yeah, Pergy right now would have been the best because we could just use his damn uh, Solitaire. Mm. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Curious, very curious. Needle seals. Needle sealing. Oh come on! What am I supposed to do now? Oh man! Oh wait a minute! All face-up monsters. All right. So we can just uh, send to the graveyard a monstrous. It says face up monsters. Which means if we set it, we should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's still a bit of a mess, but. I'm trying to think outside the box there. Leon, yeah, man. Definitely at work against this craziness. So far, this is the build, though. This sub terror build, we managed to um, succeed with it early on. We had like a seven, seven win streak. I activate my monsters effect. I know what to do. It's a shame that back row is not. Um, I activate my monsters effect. I need your help. Legacy pawns or final bow. He's got it, man. He's got it. Look at this brickiness. Double Stygo and Umastrix in the hand. That's, that's, that's worrying. I don't know. I think this guy is new to Shiranui's, maybe. <sighs> wow. <laughs> What's this guy doing? We don't have anything at the moment, so danger. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, okay. No worries, we can actually uh, banish this piece of crap. Flip flop frog would be great. Well, actually, no, 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 no. Nothing would be great right now. Uh, oh, and I got the flip. All right, we're gonna have to activate this skill to send back Stygo and a Maastrix because we only have uh, a limited amount. Shall I go for Stygo now? Hmm. What if I summon? What's this? Invocation. Or Cockatice. Interesting. Guys, we've got a few plays here. Um, question is, what's the best play? We can summon Cockatice. What's the best play? I feel like it's a wall disruption. Hmm. Ah. Uh. 
tough. Really tough here. I think I'm going to go for a Cockatus. One, two. I'm trying to go for OTK, so I'm going to summon it in attack. And I'll call back a Alistair. Blood. No, not Stygo. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't want to go for Stygs. Man, that's my bad. I don't want to... Oh, for flip's sake. I activate a spell. Oh, man. That was a nice misplay right there. And that was a misplay. I draw. I activate my monsters effect. Yeah, Leon. Yeah, for sure. That's the reason why I started this Let's Build series. So that you guys can actually see the deck building process and actually, you know, see for yourself that the decks that I build is exactly what I say they are. And of course, it's great fun. We all get to uh, communicate. I don't know. I feel like I could have played around it better. But there's just too much going on in this duel. And the fact that we don't have our traps, that's causing problems. Because we could have turned it around. And see, my bad, because I summoned Stygo. Stygo's gonna get smacked up now. Well, I guess we couldn't survive that anyway. Federico? How do I feel? Um, Yeah, I feel alright. I feel alright. Much better than uh, the, the past couple days. So we've got kind of losing the, the streak now. I wonder if we should continue running the invoked engine or if we should um, maybe add some defense or even back row removal. What's this? Crystrons. <laughs> what kind of stinking hand is this? Are you really... Anami? I'm old, man. What is this stinking head? Double Legacy, Double Masterix. What am I supposed to do with those? In the age of OTK, you can't be giving me these kind of sucky hands. It's got to be Crystrons. It's got to be. I'll teach you to stay out of the water. Yep. My monsters affect and yep. Oh, come on. <laughs> Get it over and done with. Dang, everyone's taking their time to death.
breaking into the next century. You know what guys, I can't even... I don't have the patience to wait today. So I'm thinking maybe to take out the Alistair. I feel like there's still something we can tweak to make it the optimized version. There is still something we can do. But it's either we're lacking defense or we're lacking back row removal. But I think um, it's just the RNG system. We got the Nemesis, we got the Legacy, we got the Alistar. So he set the Stone of Ancients. Uh, we have to go for Labyrinth Wall. That's just a must. So we actually, yeah, we could send back Invocation. And legacy pawns. So two legacy pawns would probably be better because of that spirit of white. Yeah, man. I think it would have been better to go for double legacy pawns. He's just gonna literally go in for um. Spirit of white and get rid of pawns. What a mistake. I activate my monster. Yeah, I think we should have got rid of the Alistair. Dragon Spirit of White's effect activates. Question is, can he do something? Mr. Caravaggio, run the bird girls. Which bird girls are those? They have 2,000 defense and you can draw discard one. Which one's the bird girls? Who's that? Polymerization. 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 Interesting. Going for twin burst. He must be. Ooh. Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon that can attack 10 times, eh? Go to battle phase? Not yet. Stone of Legend. Wants to go for Vermilion. Oh, that one. Show yourself. Synchro summon. I activate my monster's effect. The mod the Marjong card, right? Yeah. You'll see how much stronger I am than you. But I don't even know if it's defense uh not defense, draw we need. I don't know if we need draw. I feel like Alistair would be better than that. Take this. Attack. Okay, well, gonna have to do this. I my then the Maastricht. Force Neo to attack. Neo, blue eyes, ultimate dragon. Erase him. Hyper neutron blast. You fool! I activate. We have no out to to um near blue eyes, so it's best to banish it. Spirit trade. I end my turn. Here we go. It's my draw. Stiger. All right, I guess we go into a, a fusion summon. Now the point is, oh wait, I think we should go for Cockatus, yeah. Well that's 2800 though. From my heart. 
The reason why I want to go for Cockatiz is for its anti-target. Right, Labyrinth. And Alistair. Oh wait, he can negate invocation's effect. Can't Spirit Dragon do that? I, I think he can, you know. Maybe he wasn't too sure, but I believe Spirit Dragon can. Let's have a read. Once per turn during either player's turn, when an effect of a card in the graveyard is activated, you can negate the activation. Yeah. I think he could have done it. What's he doing? What is this guy doing? Why didn't you use Spirit Dragon's effect? Wow. Platinum is where all the entertainment is at. People willing to take risks, misplays, but most importantly, mashing up a deck with all sorts of craziness. This is a pretty legit deck though, Blue Eyes build. Yeah, that blue eyes matchup. I don't even know what this guy was doing. It seemed like he knew what he was doing, but then he done. He like literally didn't activate Spirit Dragon's effect. Which I don't quite get why. The only thing I find about this Subterra deck is that using the skill, it forces us to send back two cards, and that, that's a bit. That's not easy. Um. Flip. I think send maybe send Alistair no. send the frog and invocation and then we summon the nemesis and then have Alistair as a backup just in case it's probably a Shiranui and we all love Shiranui so That's the only downside to this deck that I can see at the moment. Another person just lost in uh, thought. That's interesting, you know, like a lot of people were. Uh, are taking their time. Wow. <laughs> wow. Thinks Duel Links is bugging out. It's either the people we're going up against are bugging out or. It's Duel Links itself. But, guys, you can also, uh, if you want, if you don't have the invoked cards, you can also fill it up with uh, all the filthy traps you can think of. Fiendish Chain is probably a good card too. This is the rank up, not yet. Another Shiranui. 
Okay, what grows in the grave? Okay. Alright. He's running the synchro. Probably gonna summon, uh, summon, summon score. Or even Bryonic. But I think Summon Skull is the one to go for first. That's the one. The Archfiend. He's probably got Battle Tuned as well. That's all we need. I think I'm not even gonna let him know what we're running. Just set the flip flop. He probably has a Cosmic Cyclone too, which is a bit dangerous. Yep, cosmic. There we go. And I'm sure he's got a uh, battle tune as well. Got to be. Going for our bodies. Yep, Armadis. Freeze the frog. Attack with the skull. He's got the bow tuned. That was probably the lamest duel we've had tonight. Well, actually, I think we had many lame duels tonight. But yeah, guys, apologies if I'm not 100% active today. I'm just recovering still. Ah, oh, what is this, man? Lulus. We got the Lulus. We got the final battle. There's no way this guy's running um, Cosmic. Oh, that's actually good because Flip Flop can. Flip Flop can. Yeah, it doesn't target, so. I think we set the Flip Flop. Shall we? Hold up. Let's send back Stygo and Umastrix. Summon this one. Do I want the flip flop though? I think we saved the flip flop. Interesting back row there. Very interesting back row. The likelihood that he's running a wall of disruption, unlikely, right? Yes. So he's probably going to go for Saber Dancer. But we can actually overcome Saber Dancer through this final bow. The only thing that could kind of. Well, I was just about to say Rabbit. Just about to say, Rabbit might be the problem. Oh man.
The rubber will be the problem. I got an idea though. I think we just bulk up uh, Nemesis, I guess. I didn't actually want to um, end my turn, the last turn. What I wanted to do was activate Nemesis effect, so that we special summon Umastrix, then use Final Battle to shift Umastrix into face down. I wonder if we should throw in some enemy controllers. Question is, does he have... He does have the fusion, doesn't he? I think he searched for it, yeah. I guess Flip Flop will send uh, Saber Dancer back to the deck. If we survive long enough, though. Ooh. Once per turn you can detach one X's material from this card, then target one beast, beast warrior, or wing beast type monster you control, and one other card on the field, destroy them. Guess we have to trigger the effect. But no other choice. But no other choice. I guess it's cool, um, but then he's, if he's going for Saber Dancer, she cannot be targeted. Alright, she comes. That's the thing about um, Saber Dancer. And I'll be targeted. We do have the frog there. Oh, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can we heart of the cards it? We haven't heart of the cards yet. But please, if we can draw into a legacy horns. Art of the cards do not fail us. Give us that legacy pawns. We deserve it. We need it. Let's go. No. No. Well then. Art of the cards is uh, not on our side at the moment. Hmm. I think we have to set the frog. Ah man, all we needed was a legacy pawn so that we can flip over the frog and send Saber Dancer back to the grave. Tiger is going to be at what, 4,000? We'll activate Subterra Final Bow in the damage step.
Boys, are both our Umastrix in the grave? I think Alistair, if we pull an Alistair right now, I think we win this, boys. Come on, give us the Alistair. Oh, come off it. I could go into the suicide. I could go for suicide. Uh, let's think. 4,000, that's 1,800. Hmm. It's kind of suckish. I, my face down, I think we're going to suicide into Save a Dancer. Come on, man, let me attack directly. What's going on here? Hey! Oh, we've only got six seconds left. Alistair's here. How many seconds have we got left? Come on, come on, come on, 24. Alright, we're cool. Likelihood he has a wall disruption. Hopefully not. Oh, 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 oh. Ultimate Providence. Now we're gonna go for Cockatus. I think Flip Flop is in the grave, yes. Should be cool, guys. I think we got this win. I believe so. Unless he's got ultimate providence, is that what it is? Divine wrath, fiendish chain. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Nineteen seconds. Dang it! Dang it! Go, 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 go. Come on then. I can't even can activate invocation without the time causing a problem. Can we do it or should we just go straight for the attack? 15, 14, dang it. Uh, 11 seconds. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh, damn. This mouse. Go, 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 go. Battle phase, battle phase, battle phase. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Battle, come on. To the face, to the face, to the face. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna have to turn this toggle off. I looked crap. What? We had hallowed life barrier. Weird. You know, like fusion. Oh, guys, um, cat dancer. Is that what it is? Only got like seven seconds left or something. I think it's Cat Dancer, right? Let's do this. I fusion summon a monster. Go, go, go. Monsters effect activates. My monsters effect activates. Really concerned with the the time. All right. I special summon a monster. Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, forget this duel, man. Forget it. We timed the hell out. 
That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to flip Nemesis into defense, uh, face down. Freaking game, man. Freaking game. Oh my days. Oh my. Flick this game. <laughs> oh man. Guys, yeah, damn time. We seem to lose to time quite a bit, but we had plays, man. We had plays. We had players. Crimson Fox had dropped the attack down to zero. But we could activate a final battle and shift Nemesis into face down defense. Or we could even, we could also trigger the effect. There, there was players, man. Definitely players. Right, send those back. Hit the wall. Set the final battle. I wonder if he's running um Vendrits. Uh, he better not banish my back row, you know. The hell is that? Tatsu Necro. If this card is normal sum summoned or set, would be it. Used as a synchro material. What? Will I banish his, um. Will I banish this? Squire. You can only contact the game once you can banish one face that monster. Does um, Squire have a, an effect if it's banished? I don't know guys, I didn't read Squire's effect. Is there an effect? Does she have an effect when banished, does it pop off? I hope not. I mean I've done it now but... We surrendered. This guy surrendered. Just a sure new some sort of twenty six card mind scan piece of garbage here. One wall of disruption, one prison. Okay, okay, okay. One solitaire. What I noticed is, if you want to shut down Shirinui, get rid of their uh, tuners. Or even um, their synchros. You're trapped. Break Here we go. It's my turn. Oh, this is not a good hand at all. This is a really bad hand. Dang it. Very bad. I think we just uh, tribute summon into Stigov. And then we set the pawns. And end our turn. At least we can destroy one back row. Okay. Set a monster to. 
Oh man, why wow, sure knew he's being played so much. Yeah, very bad hand for sure. For sure. About to end his turn. I'm about to end his back row. What's good, bro? What's good? Let's try that back row. There's no way we can get OTK though. Oh, I got Nemesis. Is Nemesis even hopeful? Oh, wait a minute. Guys, is this game? Wait, ah, oh, but Nemesis only special summons in defense, right? Think we go for a Maastrix? Trigger the um banish effect. Hold up. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but <laughs> Oh, okay, yes. This is it, boys. This is it. No, what the hell, man? Oh, I just ended my dang turn, man. Damn it. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. I'll be making these schoolboy errors. That was such a sick play as well. That was a win, man. Uh, leading heck. Watch this. I special summon a monster. <laughs> that was nuts, man. I did some crazy combo, and then what happens? I end my turn. He's probably got the win now. Here I go. I synchro summon a monster. There's no turning back. Let's battle. Is there? Take this. Unless there is. Attack. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, I think I might have another plan. I activate my monster's effect. And if we turn this around, guys, then wow. You fool. My continuous trap activates. I caught you. I activate my monster's effect. Flip flop. You think that'll work against me? I flip over my face down card. I activate my continuous trap. Target one card in your opponent's graveyard, eh? I activate my monster's effect. We better win this right now, you know.
effect. I activate my monster's effect. Yeah, the reason why I've gone silent is because I'm really focused now. Alright. That will be game. This should be game. There we go, there we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. My instincts are tingling. I activate my continuous trap. As if I activate my monster's effect. What's he trying to do? Okay, well, well, that's cool. We just world legacy pawns, and then switch over the frog, and send back this piece of crap. Sorry, what? <sighs> it doesn't work on a chain, maybe? Oh, that's a joke. Yeah, we missed timing. I think because of the chain. It should have worked. But we missed the timing. Twice we could have got the win. I synchro summon a monster. I activate my continuous trap. I activate my monster's effect. Wait, what's going on? Let's battle. Not too sure what we can do here, guys. Attack. If anything, you know. I just don't think there's anything we could do. Zero subscribers challenge. Are you... The guy that dislikes my videos, is that what it is? I'm getting a lot of these negative vibes from you right now. You need to calm down, everyone misplays. Yeah boys, I think um, we can't turn this around.
Your Maastrix is the problem. Both are in the grave and banished. To the chin, boys. To the chin. Battle. This was our duel, man. It's cool, though. Still fun. Don't tell me this is another Shirinui. We go. We've gone up against many tonight. Too many. Alright, send, send back to the to the deck. Alright, summon the warrior. Set the final battle. Combo is complete. Does the boy have cosmic cyclone? It is another one, isn't it? But you know what? I'm actually gonna banish Kazuki. You know, sick and tired of these, uh, Chirinui. But you know what, um, that back row is probably still deadly. I guess next turn we can um, still use Nemesis. Should it be a target? Well, it doesn't even need to be target, we can still just chain it. Yes. Stags. I wonder if we should set set the Stygo and switch it with Final Battle. But now nah, you know what? Let's go for Lethal. Let's smack him with 4,700. Alright, damage step. Ballista. Well, he can't activate Ballista, so it must be Regeki or Karma. Or even a Phoenix Chain, but that's not going to help. Karma Cut. Okay. I flip over my face down I that's okay. My oh, he wants to banish this. Um. Uh. Who banishes that? Doesn't really make a difference to me, right? But do I? No, I don't want it to be banished. Wow! All right, we win. We just smack him for four thousand seven hundred. Yeah. That should be fine. What does he have? Nothing. There's no way. There's no way. There we go. Let's actually see how many Shirinui players we went up against. That's kind of crazy. Like, it's really crazy how many Shirinui's we're going up against. The game should be more balanced than this. Like, who wants to play um, Duel Links just to go up, up against the same strategy? Uh, that's one. That is two. That is three. 
That's three. Four. Five. Man. That's actually five Shiranui's and three of them were in a row. Okay. I guess the top tip for this deck would be to send back the Omastrix and Stygo for the, the activation of the skill. Because Omastrix and Stygo in the hand are nothing. Like We want them in the deck so that we can send it to the grave. I wonder if we can get... Oh... Uh, triple final battle. I think he's gonna. Yep, yeah, okay. Connection. Come on, let's get to Platinum 3. This deck is definitely legend strong. We're just going up against these uh, Shiranui's a lot. Let's actually check what this is. Is it Heroes? Lunar Light, okay. Yeah, Lunar Light's a nice man. What was that savage cabbage? Is that this guy's name? <laughs> savage ca cabbage. <laughs> Alright, guys, this is a rank up to level to a platinum three. If you to pass out we need those those trap stuff. <laughs> we have the frog and the Maastricht. We can send back the Maastricht and the Frog. Okay, send cards. Alright. We need either a Nemesis. Or... Yeah, and actually we need Nemesis. Come on. I guess we go for Cockatus. Very well. I fusion summon a monster. This is probably the best play. I activate a spell. Wonder what his back row is. Hopefully it's a target card. And in that case, we should be fine. We do have double Alistair anyway. Alright, it is Infernacy. So this could be dangerous. But it's a good job we went for the Cockatiss play. Can't be targeted, can't be destroyed. And we have double Alistair, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Fancy launcher. When my hand is empty, I can use my launcher's extra effect. Can we win this rank up, boys? Come out, Infernity Archfiend. The tuner monster, Infernity Beetle. Infernity Archfiend lets me add a card to my hand. I think he wants to go into the synchro, thinking that. Wait. Now let's just see what he's doing. That's 1,000, 2,000, that's 4,900.
out. I synchro summon a monster. Coral. What's he bringing out Coral for? Arrive, Infernity Mirage. Oh man. Well, Black Lo uh, not Black Lo Black Rose can't really destroy it either. I wonder what he's gonna go for. Come out, Infernity Archbeam. The tuner monster, Infernity Beetle, Infernity. I think he's trying to bring out something strong. But he doesn't know that we've got double Alistair, so. Very very curious to know what exactly is gonna happen now. Stardust Charge Warrior. But why? I don't think he's got plays. Like, I don't really... It can't be. There's no way. There's just no way. Couldn't be. What's he going for? Blackwing. I set a card. I activate the continuous spell, Infernity Launcher. This card gains three thousand attack during the damage step only. But did he use two synchros for that summon? Come out, Infernity Ah oh, man, he did, didn't he? Tuner monster, Infernity Beetle. Infernity Archbeam lets me add a card to my hand. I think he's going to get that 6,000 attack, isn't he? Because he, he's got it. Activate the continuous spell, Infernity Launcher. When my hand is empty, I can use my launcher's extra effect. Man, too many combos going on here. The tuner monster, Infernity Beetle. That must have been like 10 synchro summons in one turn. The sinister spirits that inhabit these creatures come. I called for. I think he can get the uh, 6,000 attack, which means we have nothing to uh, counter it. Okay, what do we need? Nemesis. Nemesis, where were you when we needed you? There's no point showing your face now. Uh, if this card that was synchro summoned using only synchro, so attacks. Okay, so if we get something stronger than 3000. And just go for the attack, right? I think we're gonna put back Alistair. Or oh, nah. Can we put back Alistair? Should we put back Alistair or go for the 
from a girl play. That'd be like what, 3,000 attack? Then 4,000? We don't have a Maastrix or Stygo is not strong enough. So maybe we have to go for um for decisions, decisions. I think we have to go for Miguel. Guys, I don't think we can win this one. This dang Doom Dragon can destroy, so... 1,800. Once per turn, if you have no cards in your hand, you can select one monster your opponent controls, destroy that monster. See? Even if I do bring out Miguel. See, look, if I destroy Doom Dragon, then we still have... We still have, um... The Blackwing at 6,000. If I destroy the Blackwing, then we have Doom Dragon's effect of destroying the monster. So there's nowhere out, basically. We just needed a back row, really. Like Legacy or... Final Battle. So, I mean, not too sure what to do here, guys. I'm really not too sure what to do here. The only thing I'm hoping for is that he doesn't have the card that he's going to draw into. I hope it's not anything he could summon or set, which is... Unlikely. There we go. It's gay. I don't know what we could draw into that could save us now. Yeah, we lose this, boys. Owen, bonjour, man. Amir? Yeah, all good, man. All good. We're just trying to get a rank up. Just about to rank up. But then we went up against uh, some infernity craziness. To navigate our maze correctly. To the land of defeat, we if you it's now is the time. I summon a monster. Uh, ritual beast. I summon a monster. Here I go. I special some my Here turn we go. is done. It's might I draw. Invocation. Flip flop. I think we go for flip flop. I think we just set the flip flop. Set the legacy pawns twice. What did he banish? Winda and Elder. Ah oh, man, not this petal crap. I hope he goes for one of the back rows. Not the monster. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I special summon a monster. Battle face. My monster's effect activates. Not just yet. The 
What's this guy trying to do here? My monster's effect activates. Here I go. I special summon a monster. Ah oh, man, Ritual Beast, as much as I like them, they are really, really slow. It's like another spell books. Dry bones. What's that, bro? All jokes aside, I mean it. Be safe. I think we can all sense something huge is coming up. The world, not just you, sir. Yeah, man. I mean, all I can say is that just... Take care of yourselves. Take care of everyone else, too. Just stick together, boys. Ah, Ritual Beast, man. What are you trying to do here? I, a monster. I actually zoned out so much in this duel. It took all day to, to make his place. Alright, guys. I think it's going to be a wrap. Just going to show you the deck list quick. We might actually do a part 2 of this because I don't feel like we managed to um, play many duels today. So uh, this is the build so far. It seems to work okay. It's not too bad. I think you can get to legend with this build. Um, and you might want to take out invocation if you don't have the cards. Otherwise I think... Um, the invoked engine can work well with this deck purely because of cockatus and flip flop but yeah guys i think i'm gonna call it a night hopefully i'll feel much better tomorrow and we can crack on with our let's build series hopefully rank have some fun but yeah guys have a good one have a good night and i'll see you boys tomorrow may the heart of the cards guide you my boys peace out